Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Ravi Ruparelia and today we are going to learn about dialog flow fulfillment with inline editor. What is fulfillment? So far we have seen dialog flow integration with static response. Fulfillment helps us to generate dynamic response for our agent by using various services that we have defined. So how, how does it work? User input will be generated through various voice mediums. It will be passed on to Dialogflow agent and agent will send this request to webhook service. Once webhook service have updated data, it will send it back to Dialogflow agent and Dialogflow agent will pass this information to end user. For example, our actions provides user astrology on daily basis. In order to get the data, intent will call fulfillment service which can get data based on current date and respond back to user with information. Now let's see how we can create fulfillment with dialog flow. So I have already created an agent in dialog flow. As you can see there are two default intents, one is fallback and another one is welcome. So in order to enable the fulfillment, we will move to fulfillment tab. Here you can see there is a webhook as well as inline editor. So webhook, so webhook is nothing but you can have your own APIs deployed to your own server and that URL you can paste it here. So in uh, today's tutorial we will take a look at inline editor. So inline editor will indirectly deploy your code to the Google Cloud. It will act like a Google Cloud function only. So uh, let's just enable it. It will ask for the billing information because up to some extent it will allow you to use cloud functions without any cost. But after few invocation, it will start charging to your Google Cloud service. So it will ask to enable us a billing service. Uh, let me just enable it first. Uh, here you can see that now we have the edit access to the editor. There you can see index.js and packet.json. Packet.json will be having all those uh, dependencies. As you can see there is extensions on Google, Firebase Admin, Firebase Functions, Dialogflow and Dialogflow Fulfillment. So uh, let me just remove all the code and we will start with the basic so that you can get an exit idea that how cloud functions work. So uh, let me just import few things first. So first and most things will be to have a functions that will be imported from Firebase functions. Another thing that we will need is dialog flow in order to read the intent data. So that will be imported from actions on Google library. Uh, let me create object also for dialog flow. So that's the basic setup. So now we will export this as a function. So uh, there are few limitations when uh, we are using inline editor. The first limitation is that your cloud function name must be Dialogflow Firebase Fulfillment. Let me just export the functions https dot on request and app. Okay, so uh, yeah, so your uh, function name must be a Dialogflow Firebase Fulfillment. If you are using some other name, 
uh, it will give you an error when uh, you will deploy your function. So uh, now uh, let me just create an object of our welcome intent string first. So uh, make sure that uh, this string should be the same as your uh, as your intent name. So in this case, we'll be having the name as default welcome intent. Now I'll create a function uh, which will be called in order to get the response for welcome intent. So it will be having an argument with conversation. Uh, so uh, for this, let me just first add that hey there, this is from cloud. Okay. Okay, and now uh, we have to handle it when we have the welcome intent called. So the reason that uh, we have created an object of string is just uh, we we uh, we should make sure that we are not creating any mistake by while writing the uh, exit string name that is the intent. So uh, this is the basic. Uh, uh, webhook call I can say where uh, whenever user will enter to our action uh, welcome intent will be called and user will be able to see the message hey there this is from cloud so uh, let me just deploy it so it, it might just take one or two minutes in order to deploy to the cloud so uh, here you can see cloud functions deployed so let me just test it so we'll give it as a hi it's so hey there this is from how no greetings oh okay okay we forgot to enable it from the intent so in order to call the web hooks uh, we have to enable it from the intent uh, there you can see the fulfillment section uh, enable the web hook call okay let me just save it and now we should be seeing that message yeah hey there this is from cloud okay so uh, now uh, let me just add a small functionality here so we'll uh, we'll create an action which can uh, do a so we'll uh, we'll create an action which will roll a dice so when our uh, suppose we are playing and we do not have a dice right so dice will be having a 1 to 6 number so we'll uh, we'll ju just generate some uh, random numbers uh, from 1 to 6 so uh, that will be math dot random uh, so i need the limit of 6 okay and uh, i will just change the message to your number is number okay uh, okay De deploy it so it, it will just give us the random number uh, uh, that will be up to six and then user will be prompt with uh, your number is and then whatever the random number is right so let's see that what we are getting in output. Hi. Okay, so it is having the decimal points also. So let me just use math dot cell. And we are good to go with it. Deploy. Okay, so let's just try it. Hi, your number is three. Okay, let me invoke it again. Your number is five. Yeah, so it's it seems cool. Uh, so so uh, user will not say hi and hello and uh, all those things uh, all the time. So uh, we'll add few phrases in our welcome intent like. Uh, roll a dice roll it again or user might see again 
roll it okay now i am saving it so now uh, when user is invoking the action it will show the number your number is 4 okay again okay it, it is working roll it again it is showing number as 3 okay so let's uh, just check it with our google assistant also that how it works so once uh, we will invoke our action uh, it should show us the number that uh, is generated randomly okay let me just invoke it getting the test version of my test app your number is 5. Okay, uh, roll it again. Your number is 1. Your number is 1. Your number is 1. Change. Okay, let me try one more time. Your number is 4. We do have a random number here. So uh, yeah, so here you can see that even if you are not having the dice, you can play a game with your friends with just voice inputs. So uh, that's it for this tutorial guys. And in next tutorials, we will see some another use cases or uh, you can say that how we can use the inline editors or cloud functions in other ways maybe with the firebase database or some other functionalities so till then uh, you can share your actions in comment section do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you